Okay, let's talk about the concept of this film because it's so much fun. So can you give yes. me like a round about it? What is this movie about? <laughs> it's about six best friends that go to spring break for like one last hoorah before they become separated by schools. Mm -hmm. They get tricked into playing a game of truth or dare mm -hmm. that goes awry and it, it ends up following them back home mm -hmm. and kind of starts picking them off one by one and we have to figure out how to stop them. Yeah, game. and it's exposing their secrets, it's pitting them against each other, it knows their biggest fears and uses it against them and it becomes a life or death situation where they have to figure out how to trick the game or end the game. Um, yeah, it's about an evil game of truth or dare. It's so funny because like everyone knows truth or dare, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. right. Isn't it one of those games that everyone can relate to? Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, you know, that was why initially Blumhouse wanted to make this film is because you hear Truth or Dare and you're like, I used to play that. Like, it's really nostalgic and I can remember playing it in elementary school and middle school and so, like, odds are majority of the people walking into this theater are gonna, are gonna be thinking about, like, their memories of it and then we, like, proceed to run the game for them forever. For the rest <laughs> of their lives. <laughs> Childhood room. Yeah. Well, this movie looks, I mean, this movie was so much fun to watch, so it must have been so much fun to make. Yeah. Was it a lot of fun? Yeah, this movie was really, 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 really fun to make. Kind of changed my life in a way. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's special. Yeah, it was really sweet. Yeah. Uh, I, I fell in love with you guys, and um, I, love, I love working hard. In this movie, we had to work really hard. There were no yeah. really no rests, and it was just go, 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 go the entire time, and really right. ambitious stuff, and, and I love that kind of thing. Yeah, it was a very fun movie to shoot, because... These are just like the wackiest scenarios that would never ever happen. So it's like getting to to like be a little kid on set, like it, yeah. like getting to like play these things out that happen. Um, it was it was a lot of hard work. So it's really nice to see the the payoff of it all, and um, and obviously always really nice to work with great people. Yeah, big time. Yeah, you guys have really great chemistry on on um, <clears throat> excuse me on screen. But what I love is that it's also so relatable, you know, because you guys are so emotional, and it does pick off certain things about your character. Can you guys talk about that? Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the things I was really excited to do um, was play this character because he's so relatable in a sense that uh, my other characters I've played are so used to this supernatural world that hit this is his first introduction to it, and so he kind of. You, you see him handle the situation like a normal person would and just be completely confused and freaked out by it and trying to put the pieces together while also, you know, trying to maintain composure but you're becoming vulnerable and your exterior is cracking a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I think what re why I... There's a hair on my mouth, sorry. <laughs> Do that again. We're good. Okay. Uh, let's re go back. Uh, obviously, I'm a huge fan of the horror genre, but what I really liked about this movie is like it's more than just that. It it sort of like the underlying message is that we all have these fears or these secrets that like eat away at us. And um, I love that the game is obviously a very negative, evil thing, but in a way, it kind of helps a lot of them because one of the characters finally comes out as gay to his dad. Uh, my character, Olivia, has this huge secret that, that eats away at her, and if it weren't for the game, she wouldn't have exposed it to her friend. And um, and I, I really thought that that was an interesting twist on the movie. It's not just like a game taunting with people. There's like some real issues that we talk about. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the the whole movie is about the game Truth or Dare. Did you guys actually play Truth or Dare to kind of get get to know <laughs> each other and get comfortable as a cast? We did. We yeah. went we yeah. went to Mexico uh, for one night as a cast bonding trip and got some extra footage, um, but also felt compelled to screw it and play a little game of Truth or Dare. Yeah, it was very not? PG, nothing yeah. crazy happened. I jumped into a cold pool. I think that was the extent mm -hmm. of my dare. Um, but we thought it was the novelty of it was going to be really fun. You know, yeah. we're actually in Rosarito where the game takes place. Or the movie takes place in, in the game takes place in the movie, and yeah, we just wanted to do it. Yeah. So you jumped in a cold pool. I was sleeping. <laughs> I, we dared, we dared I, to go to sleep. Yeah, they were all in the hot tub. Lucy's got a bedtime, and it was past Lucy's bedtime, so <laughs> I, I didn't play actually, but that's okay. I played a lot in the movie. <laughs> yeah, she got enough in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank on you film, guys. so much. So Thank great. you.